a lot of agents that were undereducated on what Zillow is doing, like I was, uh, would, would, oh, Zillow's trying to destroy the agent, all these kind of things. You dealt with so much of that. You explained it to me. You articulated it beautifully to me in the NASDAQ building in 2015 when I got to shake your hand and meet you. And I'm thankful for that because I started to see it through the lens of the consumer as opposed to the lens of the agent and the realtor. Yeah. You changed the game and gave the consumers what they didn't have, which was access. But how did you stay you know, in that lane of being able to compete with all these agents that you were not compete with them, yeah. but, but really, you know, stay in your lane of what you were building while you were working with these agents at the same time? Well, uh, a, a lot of real estate agents make a lot of money through Zillow. I mean, that's what's sort of yeah. people forget when they talk about opposition that Zillow has faced or is facing or will face in the industry is at the end of the day, agents spend about a billion dollars a year with Zillow. So they don't all hate it. Clearly they're voting with their wallet and they give more money. They're buying more media and getting more software from Zillow than any other company by far in the real estate industry. So clearly a lot of people get a lot of, a lot of professionals get a lot of value from it or else they wouldn't, they wouldn't work with them the way they do. What's the big problem that Zillow is going to solve over the, over the short term right now? What is Zillow going to solve? Well, so, in your so opinion? First thing on the title point, it's interesting that there are a couple countries that are trying to pave the way. Okay. Uh, well, because like I think El Salvador yeah, and Latvia, yeah. Estonia, yeah. a couple other a couple of countries that have centralized national title programs, they're trying to, you know, I think that's where we'll start seeing it working first before we start seeing it in the US, because we have such a decentralized system. Um Problem Zillow is solving. Well, I should preface this by saying I'm not affiliated with Zillow anymore at Correct. all. Correct. <laughs> so um, I'm a shareholder of Zillow. This will um, be more of a prediction. Yeah. For okay. you. We, we won't we won't hold you to it. But so I mean, know. Zillow in in a in the post i buying um, era of Zillow, which we're just now entering, um, they're focused on maximizing lead conversion and driving take rate from the leads that they connect with real estate professionals. So th those are like. Priority is number one and number two. And then priority number three is driving more attached services from mortgage and title and escrow from, uh, you know, attached to the leads that they send to premier agents. So those are the priorities for Zillow. Um, and, um, you know, they, it's um, uh, they're right sizing the company and, and reducing the size of the company now that they've exited I buying to a much smaller footprint in yeah. terms of employees to go after those priorities. Spencer Raskoff, former CEO of Zillow, if you were the current CEO of Zillow, would you start buying brokerages in the next 10 years? No, I wouldn't. Um, I don't think they need to. <laughs> um, they don't need to buy brokerages. They, oh. they already are, you know, they already they already have a bigger margin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah. they're a virtual brokerage yeah. with Premier Agent, and they get to cream skim the their their split, if you will. Um, they don't call it that, but it's basically what it is without actually operating a brokerage. Um, so, uh, for the same reason that Google isn't likely to. Um, you know, start operating hotels or, or Expedia is not likely or buy all the plumbing companies in the country. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly right. You know, Google doesn't need to operate their own plumbers. They instead have all the plumbers compete and buy leads from Google and they With the cream Google, skin. Google local services is, is kind of a direct competitor in the real estate to Zillow yeah, premier agent. Absolutely. And I think, you know, the reason that, um, Zillow, is um, somewhat protected vis-a-vis -vis Google is because they have built plumbing around lead conversion. And, you know, and they are the, when people say, I'm looking at a house, I'm going to Zillow it. Like yeah. I'm going to, if I'm going to research something, I'm going to Google it. They, they have, have more the top Google. of funnel traffic, which protects their, you know, they're not as dependent on Google for traffic as say, um, the beginning Angie's list is, you know, dependent on Google for home services. Uh, traffic. Um, but, um, you know, Google drives traffic to an agent's website, which generally converts a visitor to a lead very poorly. Zillow generates a lead that goes into a, a, 
an app for the agent and also integrates with the CRM so that lead should convert at a higher rate. So Google has a much, sorry, Zillow has a much better value proposition to an advertising real estate agent than Google does. And if you look at other categories, for example, it's, it's not a, quite as clear cut, you know, Google's value prop to an advertiser in, uh, you know, some other verticals outside of real estate, um, is, is pretty like, like, like doctors, for example, you know, if you're, uh, or a lawyer, if you're a, a lawyer and you want to grow your business, you can buy traffic from Google to your website and generate new business. There's no Zillow of, uh, of, of medicine or of, of healthcare or of lawyers that generates not just a lead, but actually a lead that can be converted and goes into a CRM. So Zillow is pretty protected vis-a-vis -vis Google. I agree that most of the teams, websites, even small brokerages, they're certainly not converting like the Zillow app, which is now going to be the super app. I don't know if that's the same app or different. I don't know what that I don't, really means. But, but <laughs> the, the Zillow app obviously converts at a higher level yeah. than an agent's website. Yeah. So take your $100 million team. Should they still have their own website? Yes, they should. Okay. And I have an investor. I am an investor in one. <laughs> so I'm an investor and advisor to Luxury Presence, which does high-end real estate agent websites. Um, and real estate agents absolutely should have their own website as well. They need to own and control their own digital presence, their own digital brand. It's how most consumers... Uh, even if they find you on Zillow, they're going to then go Google you and end up on sure. your website.